Yes. Everyone, everyone, we're reeling it back in. Um, get the conversation. Please. Okay. Now, in the interest of getting the least confusion possible, that specific set of simple amendments is now ended. Now I'm putting forward, um, Will has already accepted for new um, civil amendments to come forward. And so I will put, would anyone like to go into a new round of civil amendments? Anyone <coughs> against this? I'm against this. Okay. Um, everyone who has a civil amendment, please raise your hand. Okay. Right, okay. So Is anyone else? Claire and Josh. All right. Claire. Okay. Oh wait, wait. Sorry. Last call, and then I'm closing the stack for civil amendments. Okay. Now it's officially closed. Um, my concern here is not so much, although I'm deeply saddened by us kicking someone out. I think it's really awful. Especially because, whatever, I'm, I'm saddened by that. But uh, my, my major concern is that uh, it seems that the proposal itself does not have anything in it for the future, and it seems to be a large portion of people's concern is that there's no way to deal with this at all. So I'm wondering, can we make it part of the proposal to have by Thursday these nine to fifteen to six elusive ones come up with a proposal on how to deal with future people and what to do with Chris at future times? Because without that, I'm very uncomfortable. Um, this there. Can you put that into concise language? Yes. As an amendment to this proposal, by Thursday, I'd like to see this group and whoever else if they want to join this group come with a very concise, detailed proposal on how to deal with future incidences with, with problematic people and how to deal with Chris Dorsey if we so choose to keep him out. Will? Um, Can I? Do we? Okay, I'm going to confer on that. I don't actually know the process on accepting clarifications. Do we accept clarifications? <laughs> Within civil amendments? Yeah. Okay. She is one of the sober sponsors. Okay. Claire, does that mean that the proposal can't be voted on if we don't have this moment amendment? It doesn't mean. Or I'm sorry, if the if the proposal is voted on, and let's just say it is approved, mm -hmm. does that mean it's not enforceable and unless this happens, or that the GA doesn't really approve it unless this happens? Yeah, it's not enforceable unless it happens anyway, okay. because okay. there's no enforcement in your proposal okay. at all. So I think it's up to the people that feel this strongly about it to come forward instead of, because it keeps being put on the rest of Orba to figure out what to do to save the people that we're being dealt with as an ultimatum. And I don't really think it's fair for us to put in the work to put in a new proposal. So my, that's where my proposal is. I'd like to see something from you guys by Thursday, how to deal with these issues that you've heard. But does that still mean the proposal gets voted on tonight? Yes. Okay. Um, well, I'll accept it with one minor change to what you said. It's open to anybody who wants to have that discussion, yes. not just those who are blocked. Yes. Um, and I invite every single one of you to please come and be part of that discussion. With that said, I accept the commitment. Thank you. Josh? I think that pretty much covers it. I was just going to add on as per requests from some of the original proposers to my civil amendment um, that we just shout him down. The GA uses mic check to tell him to leave if he does show up and that'll take care of it at least until we get the other enforcement procedures. I mean it's a band-aid. It's, I mean, yeah, until we get the potato gun made. Um, I mean, it's, it's certainly a band-aid, but likewise, it also sets a really powerful precedent that we'll have something in our language that we can then use in the future should we need to tell someone to leave. Like, we'll have that, like, oh, hey, this is a procedure that we're all okay with. 
we might check someone out the building, right? Like, which, 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 but you know, they're the ones who've been burning us. Uh, um, and, uh, nice. Yeah, but uh, not the sentiment I was going. Um, but, uh, we've already, I think we've already decided we're, we're in favor of that amendment. We will accept that amendment. So, sorry. Uh, that was all of the civil amendments. That's accepted? That's accepted. All right, let's move on. So that, well, so I, I mean, to be clear, then, what what the amendment that was accepted was the full first part of the amendment that was uh, posited earlier, plus that little tidbit, and then the whole thing got accepted in context, right? Yes. Yeah. So I, that like will be okay. What I've already said, is, I've already said, um, with the exception that we we have a discussion and come up with a plan by Thursday for Claire's amendment, and that in that in the meantime, in the event that he does show up or we have an issue with him, we might check and we tell him that he's not, he not welcome to with us. And we just might check until the situation solves itself. Right. Using the language of the previously posited civil amendment. Sure. <coughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just trying to stay within Cambridge Shaw's and we Okay. Okay. Um, now it's time to move to a vote. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna need to take head count again. Okay. Uh, we have block. Hey. I'm. Block. block. We have block. Teddy. Block. I want you all to thank all the hard for we do this thing. Okay. Um, Teddy, are you, is your block resolved now? Um, I'm going to have to consider the block resolved, considering that there was no content in the block besides a request for us to think long and hard on this. <coughs> All right, question? Could we have... A decent moment of silence, pause, and reflection before we move to a vote. That would honor Teddy's thing, and I feel it for this group. Could we do that? As the moderator, I say yes. I feel it is needed before the vote. And in fact, we had spoken beforehand as a facil ah, the facilitation team on having a moment of silence before the vote actually took place. I'm going to put forward. We had a mayday through the temp check requesting. Just to clarify. Okay. So, a one minute moment of silence. Starting now. Sorry, but one last time. Also, before this goes ahead, there, there are 27 here. That means that three are needed to block it. Or not to block it. <laughs> so, to download it. So that does not pass. Alright. 
two is less than 10%. Yeah, it's, it's two. two. It's over 25, I think. Then Did you round, round it? To, to 30% of this. That's not what consensus means. Consensus doesn't mean 90%. It means, it means, uh, sorry, of those who it means 90 percent of those voting favorably. Right, which would be 26 voting favorably. Which is 100 percent that you're getting 90 percent for consensus, which 100 percent. This has been a con an issue <laughs> since the very start. In fact, I believe Harry said something about this earlier. But all of our previous votes now have gone in this way that the it goes by each power. I mean, I'm sorry, I see you two. Like, as we have done it, I understand, but it would be three. Yes, I'm sorry. That's not how we've done it. Yeah. We've always done it that way. That makes sense. Yeah. That's how I think it is. That's how we've always done it. It didn't send it to Google from the on this, it would be 10% voting down. That is three. We can, this can become a problem for another GA, but we will not do it tonight. It will not happen. I, I hope everyone realizes that. It is three tonight. And we're at 31 now, so okay. just turn that up there. Okay, Will, would you please? I stand before you today in a collective block asking for the immediate expulsion of Chris Dorsey from all Occupy Richmond General Assembly meeting, General Assembly's meetings, events held on private property, and future occupations, with the exceptions that we find a uh, that we have a group discussion on ways of enforcement before Thursday. Until then, we we, we use my check to and, uh, No, the, that was it. With the yeah, amendments. Yeah. Was that with the amendments? Oh. Sorry, I was a little. Okay. Now to the vote. All those in favor? Please keep them up. Same sides. And those voting in the opposition. One, two, two. two. This passes. Thursday and there is a third hand. I did that one again. Is that three? Um, we need to take another We need to take it. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Please, please come to order. We're almost done. Okay. One more vote. Everyone for.
Sorry, this is almost done. I'll stand aside. Okay. And all of those in opposition, please raise them high. have a motion, as per um, earlier, that the film is edited toward, because of the temp check, or my own personal understanding that there was a lot of tension on that um, issue earlier. Does everyone understand the point? Or is there anyone who needs it um, said again? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I guess, make a move for a vote on that. Is anyone, okay. is anyone against that? Everyone in favor of editing the video? All stand aside. Um, one, two, what? We haven't addressed the proposal. There's another. Okay. I'm just trying to finish this. Okay. Um, there are two stand aside. Anyone? All against? Anyone else against? Okay, that passes. <coughs> two were against. Oh, two? How many do Three. we have in the room at the moment? It's probably. Okay. No, I'm not either. Uh, you are against? Yes, I'm sorry. I missed the vote. I'm sorry. I was... Okay, so there are two against. If, uh, if Alan, just make sure you're not taking part. No. no. Uh, okay. There's Please, two against. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt. I need to step in and um, ask that facilitation speak with each other for a second. I'm really sorry. Okay. I just need a minute of your patience. I know it's been a long night. I, I know. I know. Yeah. I don't know, but I was determined. I was going off three. I was going off twenty four. I was going off twenty eight. I mean, thirty one. Yeah. I'm sorry. Thirty one. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great show. Thirty one. Thirty people. 
decisions were made or and things were announced of what passes and what doesn't. We had a quorum of 31 people. Greg felt we were at 28. Three people voted against it. And I'm not saying it's right, but the way we've been making decisions here is if there's 10% of people who are in opposition to an idea or a proposal, then that proposal does not pass. We had three people out of 31 Say no, that's less than 10%, even if it's by a hair. And I'm sorry, but I had to bring that to the attention of the facilitation team. Obviously, we're at a point now where taking a revote seems pretty idiotic. Is there any objection to that statement? So, I don't know how to proceed with this. But respecting the process is very important, and that's why I had to interrupt and call <coughs> the facilitation team to gather and, and talk about this. I, I understand there's ideas of how we could redefine our voting process to make it more fair or, you know, pass things by 90% positive, and, you know, that's not how we've been making decisions. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. Um, it's not my job right now. Um, so if we want to look at the facts and motion to vote whether or not those are the facts, we, we can do that. Um, and the, I'm talking about if we, if we want to, as a body. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I don't know if the problem, I mean, I know I, know I have issues about the voting method. Uh, that's not the problem, though. The problem is that the facilitation team thought there were 28 people and told them it was going to be three using y'all's own math. But he thought it was 28. And that's why we thought it was three people, not because we were using the wrong math model, but because yeah. someone on the facilitation team didn't have the right count. We, uh, not to, not to, uh, I mean, I was very confused, and I don't mean to say anything against you, but you were trying, you were like confusing me. Well, very I'm much. sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. I'm just saying to me that's the problem. It's not that we we're using the wrong type of math, but that we didn't know how many people were voting. I think the problem is we had 28 and so we were looking at that. There were three others who came up at the last minute. Yes. yes. They don't control who's in the room. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they, they is, came this up This is why we don't this. like people in and out of the room. One of the reasons. Is uh, <coughs> three clarifying questions. Um, you, I saw you first. Please, and then John. Okay. Well, if we're and then, okay. technically we're not working on. We've been saying from the very beginning we work on a 90% consensus model. We never have once said we work on a 10% dissent model. Not once ever have I ever even heard that. So technically we reached 90% consensus this evening on this proposal, even if it was 30 or 31, correct? So we did reach a 90% consensus of 31 people would be 27.9, which would be 28 people in favor to reach 90% consensus. And what so that? that means three in opposition would be 10 percent, and 90 percent. I mean, that's just that's math. 90 percent of, of 31 is 27.9. No, plus the plus, plus the abstentions. Do we want to talk about this right now? I mean, so that's I'm not yeah, trying to yeah, so have to figure out whether it's faster. Okay, then I have one question. Um, okay, I'd like to have the. Oh, the person from facilitation response. <laughs> okay, I okay. The way I see it right now is I actually brought this up once, and then it was decided in GA despite the actual wording. Because I brought this up in GA at Kanawa, it was decided despite the wording that it was ten percent against brought it down. If we are going to hold to what GA said. No matter how confused they may be on the English language or what it is in like up to other people, then it would be ten percent against votes down. That's if we're going on how we have done it. That's the only way I see of reconciling this on to go on our actual history. And there are other hands. I want to address those. Um, I'm going to go around the room. Could you, that's okay. no, first? I'm happy to step aside if you guys um, can actually resolve this. Yes, okay. Okay, I'm going to. I'm just going to take a stack. I've. Are you good? Okay, you are a new face, and then I'm going to get Jeremy, but I'm going to try it progressive. Um, yes, it seems like in that yeah. match, it's very safe to round off, and I don't think we have much of a contest when you round the numbers who are, who are very within a tenth of, of, of a point of having exactly the number you want. I, I, think, it's, I think what we're doing is we're, we're afraid of our decision and the consequences of it. We can't, we can't challenge that. We can't challenge that. I, I, that's what I see. Because we, we made a decision. A lot of people were upset. Some people were upset. It's going to change a lot of the game. But we have to be willing to say what we're saying. I would have voted for a, a different version of that number, but I couldn't vote for that one. <clears throat> and they couldn't take changes. So we were locked in. I'm sorry. I would like to have seen it better. I'm sorry. Am I speaking too long? No, no. I just wanted, if there was going to be a response to that, I wanted to respond to it. Okay. Um, I'd like to resolve the current stat, but then after that, Jeremy? Oh, please. Oh, come on now. Come on. Um, I would like to say, as the sole remaining blocker still in the room, if it does get decided that this did not pass, there is no way that everyone in the mood is going to know about it tonight and be able to think cognizantly. However, I can get in touch with them if someone would like to call me and let them know on the morrow that it did not pass, if that is what food in fact like it's decided. Basically, if it passed, we got rid of Dorsey, blah, 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 please call me and I'll let everyone know. Yeah. Sorry. 
So it is just math, and that's the interesting thing about this, because we're in a little bit of a paradox, right? Yeah. If we're going to say that we operate on 90% consensus, and we had 30 people voting, which is the number I heard from facilitation when you guys were having that discussion, is that correct? I heard that there were 31 in the room, but that there were 30 votes counted. No. Is that correct, Scribe? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so 1893. Here's, here's the issue here, right? We had both 10% dissenting and 90% consensus. Mm -hmm. So this is where we need to decide, are we going to operate on 90% consenting or are we going to, is my math wrong? I'm seeing hands sh has shaped. <coughs> make, make, make. Point of yeah, point of process, and then... Yeah. All right, so what I was going to say is, quite frankly, uh, we work on a 90% uh, consensus, from what I understand, and I've bugged the hell out of people about this. So if that be the case, 10% is not enough. And so that would be the process that I'm pointing out. Talking that about was, the same thing. Right, now we've got yeah, a process. That was, that was insert my opinion to yes. the triangle. This is like the opinion insertion beam. <laughs> insertion beam. Right. Anyway, anyway, so, I mean, in my mind, we reached 90% consensus if the number was 30, um, but we also had 10% consent. So, may I speak? Please do. <laughs> so, the issue here is what about that one person that didn't vote at all? How do we treat that one person? that did not get counted, but was in the room as per our official head count. Now, now it, I believe that traditionally, we have treated people who did not vote as standing aside. I think that that represents a very reasonable interpretation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does anybody object to that interpretation? What? I didn't hear. It makes sense. If you didn't vote, then you vote counts as an abstain vote. Or that seems like that. that makes so much sense. Hey, um, yes, please, please, everyone. I know we're smaller numbers now, but let's. Um, okay. Sorry. And also, obviously, we're not going by the regular process right now. I'm going to still try to hold up to whatever process we can, but we're not in this. So, please do it. This. Um, I don't have a problem with what you just said, except that a stand aside for me is in, is actually kind of an extreme vote. It means I will allow consensus to go through, but I have a problem for, with this, and that's what consensus means. And I'm not sure if sometimes when people aren't voting at all, that they're not just not paying attention. So that's the only, I have no problem with it being considered that, but I do think there's a difference between not paying attention and not putting your hand up, and an actual... Um, you know, thought out stand aside vote. So that's the only issue I'm having. Um, okay. I, okay, I'm sorry. I actually just realized that I did not get back to this gentleman here. It's fine. I would like to do that before we head on. Please, sir. That's okay. It's less interesting as a point of resource to one point of frustration. Thank you, sir. Um, the Harry, I did see a question before I close. All right, so my question is that uh, people that were not... <laughs> you don't want to be on camera? <laughs> yeah, basically. I would prefer not being on cameras. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so my point is, uh, or question was going to be, uh, were the people downstairs counted for this consensus uh, as stand aside, or were they not counted? Because I really wanted not to be counted, period. No one in, if you weren't in this room, you weren't counted. Thank you. Okay, so, um, and then you. I, I still think that there's a bigger problem, which is that when we took the vote, to begin the vote, the facilitation team says, three votes will stop this from passing, and then we, we voted on that. I mean, even if that was wrong, that was what was said. To me, we can't, I mean, it's difficult to go backwards and go, oh, no, I'm sorry, we said the wrong thing to begin with. Everyone was so sure that it failed because we had three votes that they stormed out and cussed everyone out and left. I mean, so to me it's a bigger problem than how many people we had and what the vote should have been. The problem is that the facilitation team said X and that wasn't true and now we have this clusterfuck, excuse my language, that we're experiencing right now. So I mean, to me the, the problem is more than just the actual vote and what should have happened. The problem is that we went through a process 
and that process ended up being wrong, but we still went through that process. So we should be talking about how to resolve that dilemma and not just whether it's 9 or 10 or 9 or 10. Does anyone have any movement on that specific problem? It maybe does in the bullet, but maybe we should just decide that 10 o'clock on a contentious issue with half the people gone and a, a, a sort of flawed process is, is enough for one night. And we should let this go for another day. We can have clear our heads and maybe things will all uh, sort out. Can I, I make a motion to that effect? That I hear a motion to adjourn. Um, is that a motion to adjourn? Oh, no, motion to table this. To table this. Um, to table this discussion. Uh, call a misvote and table the discussion. Okay, call a misvote is the important part there. Okay, call a misvote. Um, Just the Tim check. All four. Yeah, uh, this is to have that process. I'm trying not to add a new process without vetting it through GA. This is what I'm trying to do right here. So please bear with me. Who is okay with this process? And please vote up. There are three. Sam sides. All against. That doesn't pass, so we're not doing that. Period. Yep. Let's go home. So, okay, well then, is that a. Motion to adjourn. Excuse me. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I'll be happy either to wait till the next meeting, but honestly, what I have to say won't take five minutes, and if you would humor me. Uh, ten minutes. <laughs> well, it, it, I, don't, I don't think it'll run ten minutes. Uh, I'm not going to even talk about the process of the consensus. I mean, somehow it was adopted from the foreign countries and whatever, and it seems to be working. You're getting a lot of people active. I mean, I'm very impressed what you're doing with respect to the demonstrations and, and all of that. But I look at this whole issue if I try and stand outside, okay, and I want to give a, five, a little 5,000 foot view real quick and see if it doesn't make sense. In this organization, what I see of, this, of the work groups, okay, who are the tips of the spear? Who are your tips of the spear? The tips of the spear are the people who are carrying your message out, okay? Those are the action work group who's active right now doing the demonstrations. What? Is that 
education group, okay, and to a smaller extent, the, the city council liaison. Well, that's outreach, but it's, that's why I put it, I'll put it sub, okay, sub spear, way down, maybe down the handle a little bit. Everybody buying into that that is where the tip of the spear is, where the message, where the delivery is come, coming get. Okay. Silence means consensus. Let me continue. <laughs> All right. Question, clarify. Let, let, if you'd like to hear it, could you specify your uh, meaning of tip of the spirit of yourself? Okay, I'm sorry. I was presuming or assuming. All right. In other words, the thing that hits the enemy, the word, where the word actually comes from, the party who delivers the word and makes, like, Salesmen within organizations, corporate organizations, are the tip of the spear. Uh, the tip of the spear in, in the Army are the guys who are, you know, with the weapons in hand. Uh, in this organization, I'm calling the tip of the spear, those organizations or subgroups or groups that are out delivering the message or organizing and delivering the message. And the message is going out, at least you're claiming the message is happening in your demonstrations. I'm, I buy that. And I buy that your outreach group, that is what is intended. Now let me just step on, all right? But I, I gotta have you believe in it, does it make sense? I mean, is anybody believe it's the tip of the spear or buy, buy into it, maybe a poor choice of words on it? Is that the group meeting with the message? I think you have to include us in that camera. Oh, I'm, I'm, that's a given, the whole organization, but I'm no, saying... No, no, come here. Publicly, we're on display. This evening is on display. Okay, all right, I'll buy, I'll buy that. But humor me then. Let me talk about the two organizations mainly. And it'll fit, if I can in, 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 incorporate or encompass this. Okay, what's happening in this country Maybe I'll come back. Sir, uh, can, I, uh, can I just ask you a question? Because, and, and this is in no disrespect to you, we're all, ex we had like one of the hardest GAs tonight, Not, I know that didn't seem extremely contentious to you, but it was something that we really prepared for. So if you could just get to like- I'm getting one, to my, I'll get to my point. Like okay. the question that, that you a, wanted an answer from us from, because I'm not really sure where, where we're going with it. And I just want to smoke a cigarette so bad. <laughs> All right, look, I was, I was offered five, somebody said ten minutes. I, I don't understand which question. Any, the question that you originally That's wanted to ask the group. Struggle? I'm, I'm I've, I've changed direction with regards to that. right now. Okay. So you, okay. That's all I'm, all I'm trying to do. Gotcha. So you will not, I, I truly want you to come back and want you to be part of this, so I don't want you to be offended if I go smoke a and, and I don't want you to think that I, I wouldn't come back. Okay, uh, but that's, I, all, that's my only point, is I'm like, I just want to make sure that, that you know I was trying to listen to you, I, and I'm just a little, my head is in not in the best place right now. That's all. Yeah. It's truly not a, not an offense to you, because I think you probably have a lot well, of Well, then why don't I come back another day, maybe. I'm here yeah. to listen to you. If you'd, if you'd like to continue there's probably speaking, several I will hear you. Just letting you know from me. Well, I think everybody's weary, and I don't want to be, you know, the worst thing to be is the last speaker on the dais. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we love you for that. Thank you. <laughs> I think you've got great potential, but I think you've got some real exposures that with the energy that you have, uh, everything you're doing needs to be done, but there are, there are some other things. Mm -hmm. And I even see in your outreach, the people that are planned to be called on, the arguments where this election can be won, these are issues of we are losing on the social conscience or the social conservative issue. We're losing in the fiscal conserv to fiscal conservative issues. They have got to be addressed. The question is, who do you address them to? Congress 
and legislators don't listen anymore. Right. But they can be influenced by the money. And where their money comes from and their support comes from, the vulnerabilities that exist are very vulnerable in the money issues. But let's take one and I'll leave, leave it from here. Their base is white, high school educated, working class people, and the evangelical Christians. The evangelical Christians, and, and I'll end it with this, are not a practicing the teachings of Christ. And, and I don't mean to offend anybody, I'm not talking Christ, and I'm not talking Jews, and I'm not talking Muslim or, or anything like that. I, I believe in all of them. But to win, to win, you've got to look for the vulnerabilities. And all that the evangelical Christians are preaching, they, they are all individualized, except they do outreach to evangelize, to uh, proselytize, and bring new recruits in. They are not doing the things of helping the poor. They are not uh, doing the teachings of Christ. And what I would be doing with the outreach committee would be calling on pastors, okay, at churches, and organizing, okay, well, it, believe me, I've gone way beyond this. Ten tips in ten minutes, five tips in five minutes, and a speakers group organized that goes out, makes appointments, makes calls, and, and you know what happens? You challenge the conscience in those churches and the pastor from the pulpit and the the Blue class, the blue collar worker who's out there listening to the pastor, the pastor is going to be, he will be moved to be talking. You make them sell. The other thing is, right now, Congress, the Senate, and the House, they don't have no fear of this organization. None. None. Uh, I don't want to say none. But they know how to control it. And they control it just like they controlled us in Vietnam. The war took eight years to end for the demonstrations. You all don't want to be here eight years. This war has got to be won this next presidential campaign. And, and there's a way to do it. They're vulnerable, but I don't see you targeting the people who will change the minds to get them to change the votes. Um, thank and, you for your comments. That is so truncated. Before we adjourn, um, again, thanks for everyone who waits till the moment where GA adjourns to leave GA. <laughs> um, sir, I'm sorry, I'm... I'm well, 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 may I, well, may I, may I make John? one more comment? I'd like May, to one more comment. May I ask you a question because I'm stepping sure. down from facilitation team after I do? Did you vote on the last vote? You, no. You just didn't vote at all? No. Okay. 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 Uh, you might have to get a right count. Yes. How would you have voted? And, and just can you have another seen impressive item? You are really trying to abide by a structure. You have a structure. I mean, that's impressive. What I fear. For you, and what I think you have to do is sometimes the process, and it happens in all organizations, becomes the objective as opposes the other way around. And I think you gotta you gotta be very careful of that. I think you be, have to be lighter on yourselves as to the purity with which you're using, you know, these guidelines. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. So you so you're saying that you didn't vote because you wouldn't have voted on this? I didn't know what you what you what the issue was. Okay, so you wouldn't have voted on this. Uh, no, I was I I, I'm asking for numbers reasons, not, oh, because, okay. not okay. because I, I think didn't that tell you, I assumed it was still something on, on Charlie or, or uh, Chris. Chris? 
Right. I'm asking, right. The only reason I'm asking that is because if you didn't vote at all, it's different from a stand aside from what we were counting it as. Yeah, well, you should change For I didn't you. vote because I didn't feel quite honestly, uh, all due respect. It's 30. I, I don't know the fellow, and I'm you know, first, first time here. Which means the motion passes. Which means the motion passes. So good that. Which is. Oh. Which is very respectful, and thank you for being here, and thank you for your words. Okay. Well, I have your information. I'll contact you. Well, I hope that's to see you very thing. soon. I, I really am looking for the meat. I'd love to. By design, it's a leaderless organization. It's supposed to be egalitarian. I understand that. But I sure would love to find we'll somebody that can sit down to. I will call you. Talk. Absolutely. Okay. We're just. In limbo. All right, I wish you all the best, and I'd like to be uh, yeah. helping you with it. All right, thank you, John. Um, yeah, I'm just going to point out that this will probably flow into the next DA. So, yeah, I'm just going to point out this will probably flow into the next GA somehow, some way, uh, whatever. Um, can I just point out something from what yeah. I just did? That means that motion passed. That man just said that he didn't vote because he didn't understand it. We counted him as a head. That's not the same as a stand aside. Mm -hmm. That's why I was asking him that. That means that our quorum was 30 and we reached 27. So this yeah. is a very different, this is why I made sure to get this on camera because this is a very different situation when we were dealing with 31. And thank you, Claire. No, that's what I'm saying. That's going to go into the next GA. Like, I mean, yeah, but at the same time, you know, if you watch it, guys, please don't leave and cuss us all out and we're trying to help you out. Thanks. Yeah. All right. I got Motion to adjourn. Second. I love you all! Yeah. So, how do I record that though? Contentious? I feel like it's fake because I'm no I'm, I'm not gonna make a thing of it because I'm I'm just trying to have <laughs> DA. Yeah. Oh, sorry. sorry. What's really important for me to say tonight as someone outside of Occupy that unless you admonish those oh, I did. who understandably went outside a prospect process and disrespected all of the people in with their anger, and I'm speaking specifically of William, and on some level, I wish he was still here, Danielle, I felt there were a number of people tonight who need to be admonished for their behavior and unless and until you begin this process, it's at the heart and soul of whether you're going to become something that really makes a difference or not. If you cannot admonish those who will not respect and participate within your established, agreed upon processes, you're doomed. You're doomed. I, I don't know. Like I think it will happen in the next year. You should just make a note. Are we adjourned? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't. I don't know how to record it. That's a good issue before. Thank you guys for the facilitation. You're awesome. Yes, yes. Thank you, facilitators. You yes, did a wonderful job. You.